New York City is full of life. Plants, animals, bugs. Even the soil might have bacteria and viruses in it. High school students like me are using a technique called DNA barcoding to identify almost any living thing. It's learning about science from the real world, not from a textbook. This is the one that's like missing, like true crime. The Urban Barcode Research Program is a science initiative in New York City and it enables students to gain knowledge and confidence in science through hands-on activities. You've heard about DNA. The DNA barcoding method is used to confirm a given species' identity. I have one being too. It's a technique that can be applied in a ton of different ways. Our research is about studying pollen from local honey to see if it can help people build tolerance to allergies. It's really cool. Yeah, I feel like it's going to help me career-wise because I am trying to like pursue a career in like medicine or sciences. Some students are measuring biodiversity in the city's parks and waterways. Hi, I'm Katia and this is Bonnie. We're studying the biodiversity of Newtown Creek. And other students are tracking the different creatures making their homes in the growing number of city gardens. They help us to monitor biodiversity in New York City. We are living in a time of major climate change and we lose every single day many species. So it's, it's a great opportunity to monitor and acquire knowledge, but also like doing something which is important for science later on. Hey Tony, how's it going? We work with real scientists in labs all around the city. Tony and I have been working on bacterial resistance, uh, the idea that the bacteria that make us sick are becoming increasingly resistant to antibiotics. Yeah. So Ben's idea was to use viruses instead of antibiotics to kill harmful bacteria, and we can identify those viruses with DNA barcoding. Here's what you do. First you take a sample of the organism you're studying, extract the DNA, process it, and send it for sequencing. About two weeks later, you get your results. Each year, hundreds of samples are sequenced. That makes New York City high school students key contributors to the city's scientific research. In my project, I discovered a new virus. I may only be a high school student, but I have contributed to science in a major way.